Alina is proud to hold the distinction of having, as far as we know, as far as the Sally Show knows, the longest fingernails in the country measuring in at 10 inches. <laughs> Sitting next to her is Kathy. Kathy has the second longest toenails in the United States, four inches. And this is Barry. She came in first for creating nails that re resemble Dr. Seuss characters. You're going to see these in a few minutes. But first, Lena, Lena you were a nail biter and you've got 10 inch nails? I was a nail biter all my life. I just stopped biting them about 18 years ago. I started growing them because I was tired of people, men especially, telling me, you have such nice fingers. Why don't you let your nails grow? So I gave it a try. I tried it, and I started noticing the reaction of people when they would look at them, and the reaction was so amazing, I decided to go to the extreme. And you really so went now to the extreme. Yeah, I get a lot of it. Now I, listen, she types for a living. I type. Oh. Question. <laughs> I just want to know, how do you wipe yourself in the bathroom? OK. <laughs> carefully you know but. <laughs> how do you do uh, everyday chores I mean uh, making a bed putting on your stockings it looks pretty weird to watch me making up a bed because I cannot use my hands I have to use my elbows to but, make well, a bed well because you know for a fitted sheet I can't get a good grip so I actually have to take the fitted part of the sheet and tuck it underneath my elbow right. and then I use the force to pull it up underneath the mattress and then I use my hands on top to just to, you know smooth it, the sheet Well, I'm out. watching it but I don't quite understand <laughs> it even though I'm seeing it yeah it's kids at difficult. your daughter's school say you're Freddy Krueger, imagine. Yeah, well, I, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because my daughter is still in elementary and the children are very frightened of them. So when they see it, I would hear comments like, oh, Crystal, your mom's Freddy Krueger. You know, Ooh. some of them are pretty frightened by it. What, what is your manicure bill a year? Uh, and does well, the tax people, and do the tax people believe it? Well, you know, I, I'm always asked how much I spend on nail polishes a year, but actually, it, it, I try not to do my nails too often because it takes quite a bit of polish. I can go through two bottles of polish. And how long no to problem. do a manicure? Uh, how long have I been doing that? No, how long to do a manicure? Oh, uh, on me or someone else? On you. Not long at all. No, no, it's just a regular 30-minute process. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, get this. The lady with the toenails' name is Kathy. She is a mother of three. And you're right. saying to yourself, hmm, lady has a Ph.D. in anthropology. What would make a Ph.D. in anthropology, usually they're teaching in some college somewhere, what would make you grow your toenails that long? It's probably because I am an anthropologist that I even did it in the first place. I started growing them a little bit, and all of a sudden, I got this incredible reaction. I mean, everybody was, like, flipping out about these nails. And then I said, well, hey, I'm just going to keep growing them and see what people have to say. And, of course, I always get a big reaction. As, a, as an anthropologist, I'm interested in people, and I'm That's, interested in what they think. Now it makes sense. <laughs> but you don't wear shoes like that in the winter. I wear shoes like this all year round. In the winter? Where do you live? What Los con? Angeles. Oh, oh together. Stockings? I can wear nylons, no problem. You can. Uh, they probably last me as long as anybody else. Do you? When you work, uh, do you work as an anthropologist? I work as an anthropologist. Do you work in a conservative place? I work in a very well. My employer is very, very tolerant, but often I have to go to very conservative meetings or give papers at national conferences and things of that do nature. Do people not stare at your nails? People always stare at my nails. If I really think it's going to be an issue and that people are not going to judge, or they're going to judge me by what I look like before they have a chance to hear what I have to say, then I'll wear a pair of socks and a pair of pants, and they'll never know the difference. They'll think I have ugly, misshapen feet under those socks but they'll never know. I would think that you would be terrified that somebody would step on your feet or something well, like I, that. I, I really crowd when I can. Are they I'm romantic? Are you married? Are they they're rom very romantic. My husband loves them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Barry, I'll move right on. Barry. I'm still sitting here trying to be able to cook with all those... <laughs> Little nails. <laughs> Sally, I Look, type. That's her business. Cooking isn't. Sally, I always forget to do, you know, there's always get into this, but I have to show you how, the reason why I, I, you know, try not to do this too often because I have a problem getting out. So can I just come out of these for a minute? Yeah. Okay. 
wait. There's a cupboard. Isn't that fascinating? Can you imagine if you break one? <laughs> Curtis, what's in your future?